Germplasm Resources Unit is a seed bank that contains the John Innes Pisum collection of over 3,500 different pea lines. It includes many lines collected from the wild, as well as cultivated material from around the world. Some of these peas are very rare and can be traced back many hundreds of years. The collections are housed within a purpose-built seed store. This is maintained at a constant temperature of 1.5 degrees centigrade and low relative humidity of 10%, which can extend the life of seeds to 25 years. These are public collections and the seeds are available on request to researchers, commercial companies and interested growers. I work at the Metabolic Biology Department at the JIC. Pea research has taken place at the John Innes for the past 106 years, ignited by the rediscovery of Mendel's Laws of Inheritance. Pea is an important crop because it offers a wide range of benefits, economically, environmentally and in terms of human health. Environmentally, pea as a legume can fix nitrogen from the air. This lessens the need for artificial fertilizer in agriculture, which in turn reduces fossil fuel usage and associated greenhouse gas emissions, as well as reducing pollution of water systems via nitrogen runoff. The nitrogen residues from the pea crop benefit subsequent crops and save money on fertilizer. As a component of food and feed, pea seeds offer a wide range of health benefits since they are nutrient rich. Current research is studying the so-called resistant starch in pea, which can improve blood glucose control and insulin sensitivity, both important factors for people suffering with type 2 diabetes. Pea seeds are not only a tasty nutritious food, they provide flour that is free from gluten and other potential allergens, and they also provide excellent nutrition for poultry and livestock. Despite all these advantages, pea is a minor crop in the UK. At the John Innes we have been working to genetically improve traits in the pea crop and so help it reach its full potential. In 2015 my team developed a so-called super pea, predicted to support better protein digestion in humans and in animals. Normal pea seeds contain enzyme inhibitors which limit the digestion of protein, but we found one rare wild pea from Turkey which cannot produce these enzyme inhibitors. Breeding from this variant will provide a more valuable source of protein for both humans and livestock. The discovery of the rare wild pea, the super pea, has sparked a lot of interest from breeders. This demonstrates how fundamental research findings can contribute to crop improvement. Around 400 years ago, a series of agricultural and economic changes made it easier to store meat through the winter and dairy products. At the same time, pulses, the traditional store of protein and carbohydrate, became stigmatised as a food for the poor. Around the same time, we discovered a whole new group of pulses in the New World, the Fasciolus beans. We realised there was an opportunity for a business to begin promoting British-grown pulses in the UK. We established Hobmadod and began to reintroduce people to British-grown pulses. We're conducting our own farmer-led research where we approach farmers that we're either already working with or would like to work with and design experiments that allow them to trial novel pulse varieties on their farms and understand how they might better fit into their systems. Ultimately, Hobmadod's aim is to create more sustainable and diverse food and farming systems. We think there's huge potential to increase the range of pulses grown in the UK but also to increase the area.